Hey, it's me, Jonathan from Story Mode, and I'm here at this convention called Yestercom with my co-host, Kylie. Hi, nice to meet you guys. And you already know about me. You should know more about her. So what do you do besides you know, playing games and having fun? I really like to cosplay. Um, I've been cosplaying for about 12 years now. Um, I've really gotten into it though in the past few years and I finally started making my cosplay page after so many friends have pushed me to do it. Um, so I definitely have a lot of projects coming up at the next conventions. Um, I didn't get to really cosplay at this convention. I'm just kegooing it, you know, <laughs> being comfortable. Um, but definitely next con I'm going to be bringing in some new costumes. Yeah, we're just here to have fun and see what's going on, especially it's all nostalgic stuff and the, my whole deal is about nostalgic gaming and all that, so we're going to see a lot of great stuff. Yeah, so, let's head out to the con! Okay, alright, bye! <laughs> This is actually one of the coolest Robotech games because the cool thing about it is yeah it's Harmony Gold and they did a lot of stuff to the company that made it but the thing that makes this game so cool is instead of playing as an existing character in the show uh -huh. they made a character up and you play in the battles what happened in the show you're playing in a different view oh, I remember the, this game this game's really awesome and the I love this game I used to play this all the time are you telling me this now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot the name of it. Oh, I used to play it at that my hurts me house. more because I'm a huge fan of Robotech and Matt yeah, Cross. I used to play this. I, used to, I wasn't a big fan of it either, but I used to play this with my friend. I will. <laughs> sorry. It's <laughs> You get to pick the card. You get to choose which card you want. Yeah, whatever. I, I'm gonna do my own turn. I'm gonna do my own turns. You know, no. You know what? Just for Facebook's sake, my Christmas card. My Christmas card for Facebook. I'm gonna trade the gum. I see if it lasts. I don't think it'll be very good. I mean, you still have to eat the card. We'll, we'll record you eating it. Okay. This is an opening for a card that still has gum in it. Show, show us what the pack is. Well, well, most I, of it. Oh, sorry. The pack shows Ghostbusters to... Smash movie. Compared to the new one. Here's the gum. Let's try it. Has a taste. What taste? It's dissolving instantly. I'm not even eating gum. I'm drinking it. I, I thought it was gonna be like in Melhouse bit the gum, it, it'll crack and cut my tooth. Like, you know, oh my tooth! Yeah. But no. 
I just drank the gum. Yeah. I'll be fine. It did not go well. That's all I have to say. Well, yeah, it didn't age well. It tastes like cardboard. Well, yeah, it's because it's been in cardboard sealed for... I need to buy water after this. Uh, there, it's over there. Two. But, yeah, okay. No, you're good. Cool. No, you're good, you're good. So, I got the cards from the second movie. Some original artwork. Hmm. This is actually from the first movie. Because you know the gel guys from the prison. Remember when they go to court and the ghost came up? Mm -hmm. These are them. That was the second movie. That was in the second one? I thought it was in the first That was the beginning of the second movie. Oh. My mistake. I love... This one needs to be the next Christmas card because it's them looking at the picture of them as saints. I love that one. The behind the scenes. This is how you get bonus features back in the day. <laughs> Not on DVD or anything. You actually have to go out and buy cards because they actually do take pictures of, of their filming sets. And that's it. But for sure. Christmas card this year. Christmas card for this year. Okay. Work? If you can, come right over here. Everyone, I want to give you a Keep working on the learning tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now, Marilyn, I want to ask you a question. You can say in your go card. Are you currently armed with any form of turtle shell or banana? <laughs> Take that as a no. Have you been certified by the state of California to drive a motor vehicle? Not quite yet. I assume you have some sort of paperwork inside if you were to be pulled over the five minutes, right? If you did get pulled over, do you think you'd run or do you think you'd stop? She's running, everybody! <laughs> I think that truly really does embody the spirit of Mario Kart. Uh, do you mind? Can you go backwards? Give us a bet. Bring it back. All right, she knows how to go in reverse. And bring it right up to here. <laughs> oh, all right, beautiful. Let's hear it for Marilyn, everybody. Are you aware of how warm it is today? It's very warm today, which makes your costume all the more impressive. Who are you talking about? This is Spyro the Dragon. Do we have any Spyro fans in the room? Yeah! yeah. So Spyro has a bit of a cult following, correct? Um, what, what is his uh, trademark or, or what, what does Spyro do or say? But he doesn't have a like, it's a me, it's viral. He doesn't do any of that stuff, right? He just does have this little shape, but he's really upset at you. Alright, let's get the full on Spyro shape. Spyro's upset at you, everybody. Let's see the shape. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Nobody wants an upset Spyro, guys. Alright, so let's give him a quick catwalk and a turn. Now this is the final of the three of our players if I've ever seen one right here. I'm just going to step back here as to not fly anymore. Guys, let's get you all step forward so that no one's blocked by the podium. Everybody, if you're going to take your cameras out, now's the time. Come on, right up here, right up here. Right here, right here. Okay. Well, actually, uh... Okay, yeah, short people in front of me. Alright, everybody, for all the applause I heard before, I want to hear that.
thank you for your love, your devotion, and the, the blood and the tears, but especially the sweat that you're pouring today, just as I am. We're going to give one last round of applause as the contestants step off the stage, and then we're going to announce our first and second place winners. Everyone, let's hear it! It's the main event. Our number one cosplayer that's going to win this very heavy golden statue. It is hot. And one hundred dollars. Now, I don't know if I can actually hand over this large of amount of money without getting some sort of federal clearance. <laughs> but we're going to do it anyways. Let's get Green Arrow up here. I know, but what was it for? For first place. Oh, okay. First place. I want to make sure you get this beautiful. No, I know, but I know what it was. Is it just like a hundred dollars straight? Yeah. Oh, okay. There was like a discount something. Secondly, you know, a hundred bucks. I know it's nothing compared to the statue. Let's hear from you. Oh, same here. Yeah. Oh, hi, everybody. Hey, we're back. <laughs> oh, I love the con. It was all nostalgic, the booths and everything, and the exhibit hall. Yeah. But what was your favorite moment in there? Um, I think my favorite moment would definitely be coming across a copy of Tomba, the PlayStation 1. Um, my inner childhood heart just started skipping a beat. Like <laughs> you should tell us the whole story about it because you did a lot of amazing stuff. Like you tell us the whole story from start to end. Okay. When you saw um. It. So when I saw it, I literally just started screaming in the exhibit hall. I was like, I have to get this. I have to get this. But it was a little out of my price range. Um, I usually bid on games on eBay, so like I try to find the best price possible. Um, so it was out of my budget. Um, so, but then I was like, you know what, maybe towards the end of the con, I might be able to get a better price for it. So I went to a few panels, and then I came back and I found out that the game got sold for $15 cheaper than its normal price, and someone else snatched it. And I was kind of upset, but I was like, you know what, I'll come across another copy, it's okay. It just really brought me back to my childhood, just to be able to go up to it, find that, look at it, and be able to tell you all about oh, how much uh, I love that oh, game. Oh, I know how you feel, especially my favorite game, Tekken 2. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, what was other favorite parts besides that? Like, any other panels interest you or anything? Um, and then Robin Williams' panel was really interesting. Oh, was really yeah, we, we got to see, um... Yeah. And that was really cool, who plays, um, um... Oh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> um, I'm freaking blanking on his no, name. No, is it, isn't it Rufio? Rufio, Rufio. there you go. Yeah, yeah. He plays Rufio in the Hook. And um, that was really awesome. And then also the other actor who played the little kid from Jumanji and right? Little Tika. Right. And if you really want to see the full interview, I recorded the whole thing. You could click down below in the descriptions. My favorite part was actually got to interview Phil Moore from right. the host of Nick Arcade. It's right. a really cool game show, but I was so bad at interviewing and everything. Nice. Very short interview. It was great. Nice. Another good part was uh, the cosplay contest. Oh, yeah. It was pretty fun. I, I went up there. I, I honestly can't take any... any. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did make this. I bought it on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> but, so I can't take credit. Um, but obviously the kids won. The kids always win. Yeah, it's all about the children. Which is good for them, though. Good yeah. for them. Little it's arrow. Oh my god! <laughs> Thanks a lot, cameraman! <laughs> Little green arrow kid won. He got $100. Good for him. <laughs> Next con. <laughs> next con. And that was great, man. I will come back next year for sure. Yeah, definitely. If you, don't, if you want to, you know... Look up the information. I'll put the link in the description. It's a really small con, not like the other ones, like how big they are now. Right. And if you really want to go back to nostalgic feels on gaming, mm -hmm. just in general, this has it. Like, it took me back in the time. Oh yeah, so. I found an Etch-a-Sketch. When do you find those? I found, <laughs> a lot of, I found a lot of rare old Nintendo games I couldn't find. Yeah. 
It's a cool con. It is. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks again. T stay tuned to my show, and we'll see you around. All right. Goodbye. Alright, so I need to give you your stuff. You really need to get home. I need to get home. I need to do, if I can, I might try to hit the laundry mat before it closes. This is what, that was good, damn. I'm very, so do they hook up in the game? No, 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 no. He's the psychiatrist. Like, you gotta play the game to understand. Oh my god. He's the psychiatrist for her. And it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a weird game. David Cage does weird games. Hey, I'm wait. very curious. To what hey, this by is the way, like. hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. There's something here that shouldn't be here. What do you mean something here that shouldn't? Be? It shouldn't be here. Why? I don't know. Like, what's... Jonathan, what are you talking about? I don't. I think I grabbed someone's thing by mistake. <laughs> no way. N no, I think I got some. My bag feels heavier. I don't know. <laughs> it feels weird. You. Here you go. <gasps> <laughs> you alright? You alright? <laughs> oh man, you know how hard it was to keep my mouth shut? Oh my god! Oh, just to let you know, the guy was in on it too. The, the, the yeah. owner. That's why he was whispering to his friend! Yeah. I saw him whisper. <gasps> Do I need to give you or your 50 bucks back? No, dude? no, I wanted to. What I wanted I wanted to get oh it for you. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty hard to keep like my face straight And up. you got it for 60? Dude, oh my god. Uh, I had like a heart attack when I <laughs> I know, because I'm like, when you're having a heart attack, I'm like, oh man, I'm like, I hope we get to my house soon, because I want to give it to her already, because you were just like, oh, like, you are like, oh, some punk bought in this asshole, like, you're like thinking, oh, some kid has it, or whatever. Oh my god. You got it on camera, right? <laughs> yep. I had to. That's why. That's why earlier. That's why earlier when we were talking about like the end, like oh, what was your favorite part? We gotta talk about this some more. Because it's gonna be yeah. the bonus end after the credits. Oh type my freaking! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm freaking out! Oh my goodness! Oh my god. Oh, that's that's oh just a gift from me because you put up with all my d So. Oh my gosh. This guy's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs>